Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I decided to come back to the starter pod here, and took the pod apart, and to be quite honest, I didn't realize we got that many parts from it. I thought it was about half of it. it must have changed since last time I took one of those things apart. But yeah, I've been uh, gathering some resources. I got a whole bunch of iron, carbon, and silicone at the base. been printing up some plates and frames and whatnot. You know, just trying to get ourselves started. Uh, I did do some little more block unlocking. We're almost there. Uh, we're at the point where I can actually make a flying vehicle. I'm not sure how many of those circuits I have. So I can make two air blades if I really need to. But yeah, I figured since I already had the hole here, I'd come here and grab whatever I could out of here. And hopefully I can get out. <laughs> These jet, early jetpacks are terrible. Oh, there we go. I'm going to grab what's here while I'm at it. Just because there's a big gaping hole in the ground, can't can't be too much worse than that. And I will use my last battery. I cut down a whole bunch of trees too, and so I've got like six stacks of biomass. So I might make some batteries, but I will need some carbon because I'm gonna have to get some water going. And the usual stuff. I took apart the buggy and rebuilt it a little more compact. It's all battery now, just because I need transport. But, I think that should be good for now. Anyways, so let's hop back in and we'll head back to the base. i got to remember to turn that off. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's going to show up here. Uh, let me zoom in. But for some reason my batteries are saying I've got 6,500 hours of power. Which isn't the case. Anyway. Uh, oh, there's an autosave just in time for recording, as always. I did put a beacon down, I put it down to 1, or A. There is a monument, actually, you know what, just because. Let's go discover that monument since it's close. I don't know how close it is, probably over that hill. Yeah, it's going to be over the hill. I'll go check it out later once we're a little more mobile. And I want to unlock and start getting some miners going, because I think I might be able to actually find... I think this is the the whole one percent area. You'll find one percent of this, one percent of that, and and I clearly recall seeing this in a patch note a while ago that vehicles don't damage animals or nests anymore. I was trying to take out some gil godillas earlier, and that wasn't working too well. So we're gonna find one. We'll get some ramming speed going here. Where is that godilla nest? Well, let's see if I can take you out. Oh, okay. I guess that's a planned feature. And you know what? Free food. Just because. I like how it says loot. Well, at least I got some meat. I gotta get some uh, food situation going too. I'm down to my last capsule and almost out of water. But this is the little area I got set up here. I got had the printer going down all how much juice is left in the battery. Uh, speaking of juice, I'm going to turn that off because oh. yeah, that number is definitely reading wrong. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's because the, the wheels aren't technically using power unless I'm driving. Yeah, it's hard to say. And this is full. Oh, yes, it is. Alright, I'll let that go out and, like I said, I've been making a whole bunch of stuff to start building a base. And uh, I've been sort of thinking about how I want to have this set up, so I think I'm going to try something a little different than what I usually do. And this is one of the things I like a lot about Planet Nomads, is, like, just the complete freedom that you have to build. Like, it, it, I know it's not the only building, survival building game out there. Uh, you want to call it that open world building survival exploration game now there are, are many others uh, but they all to me sort of have the same general kind of building pad building thing system i'll call it where you're given uh certain modules for instance let's take subnautica for instance Yes, I, I know I do play the game, but uh, Subnautica is a little different than Planet Nomads. Planet Nomads, to me, is more of 
uh, you know, more of a building game than really the survival exploration. Uh, whereas Subnautica, it's it's all about exploring the ocean and the deep darkness and embracing your fears of what may lie beneath. Why am I getting stuck on this railing? I don't know. But with the uh, yeah, same with the um, other ones too, like. Uh, Stranded Deep's another good one. But Stranded Deep is more about the survival aspect. It's not really about. That's not a safe. Not really about uh, building per se. Yeah, they do have basic stuff, but you know that's kind of what you expect. But here, you know, we can use whatever we have to our advantage and make the best we can out of it. Uh, some of the comments or in the forums had, had mentioned um, that there are no rules governing what we can and can't do with what we have available and what we can build. And they actually mentioned that I had done shown this many times, and that's really what it is. You think about Lego, for instance. Lego. Did I miss one? How did I go through that? Internal bleeding detected. Huh. Physical Been a while since that's happened. Imminent. It's a good thing I made a stasis pod. Well, at least it wasn't the first episode. Then at least it wasn't a tree. But yeah, yeah that's what it was. It was. Uh, I, I started to see that when the hover pads first came out. The hover pads were just basically supposed to be like hovering transport, and I went ahead and took it to the next level. Sorry, slurping some cold, some cold coffee there. And yeah, and and that's what it's really all about. I don't know what happened here, but let's grab all my stuff. There is a take all button. Thank you, and I'll get my free frames. Yeah, um, that, that, like I said, that's what it's all about. It's like you have all these different blocks. You can build any type of structure that you, you desire. Um, I have seen some very impressive artistic and creative builds of some of the people in the community. Uh, they deserve a lot of credit for what they've done. I'm not the most artistic in the world. Uh, I got more of a technical side to me. But that's just how it is. I've had a few people... Actually, more than a few people actually suggest that I look into, uh... Does that get me wide enough? Oh, we'll go one more. Hey, there we go. Build to your heart's content, however you like. Uh, that I should check. Have a look at Space Engineers. And I had a, did a, take a look at it. Um, yeah, I could do a lot more technical stuff with it. But one of the things that does uh, uh, catch me for... Well, grab me for, uh... Planet Nomads is, you know, it's just how good things actually look. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but it looks pretty good. And in comparison to Space Engineers, this has a little more of a realistic feel to it. But that's that's just me, right? Everybody has their own thing. I may I may look into it just to do some mad scientist mad scientist kind of stuff and see what I, kind of tricks I can pull up, pull up my sleeve pull out of my sleeve. Sorry, it's uh, been a lot going on. Uh, yeah, uh, but again, that's like the whole thing. Like these ramps, for instance. They're not just ramp. They could also be ceiling tiles. They could be fences. They could be walls. They can be whatever you want. For me, they were uh, the hull of an aircraft carrier. And that was that was a fun one. There's also been a lot of talk, too, uh, as far as where development is going. And... To be quite honest, it's sort of in the, up in the air right now. Uh, don't really know what's going on as far as I know. They're just working on a big final update for June, and that's going to be going to be a full release. This is this going to fit? I have no idea. But either way, wherever it goes, you got to just be thankful that we have what we have. They did an amazing job on. I'm enjoying this game. I, I've got many hours into it, and going to be many more. It all, it all really is up to 
you know, what I feel like doing. There's a lot of things I, I want to do, a lot of things I haven't done yet and like to get into. Oh, that worked out perfect. Nice. Now we get some corners in there. But either way, you know, like I said, they've given us quite a bit. We gotta take advantage of what we have. Even if we're, development were to stop and they announce that they will not work on the game anymore, that there will be no more updates. I will continue to play. And it's not because I put money into it. No, I put I play the game because I enjoy the game. You know, just like you know, my uh Oh, this actually works out perfect, even with the door over there. Oh, I haven't got the door in yet. Uh even like like Minecraft, you know, I sure I bring this up a lot, but yes I do have my thing for modded Minecraft. It's more of the logistical side of that that one. Uh, that can get quite in depth, but even still, it's despite the game is nothing but blocks and blocks and blocks. It's still a good game. It still has a very large player base to it. Uh, that's gonna be ugly. I'm gonna put the post in the wall or next to the door. Another thing I've seen come up in the forums many times was the fact that Planet Nomads needs something in order for it to, to survive, in order to thrive. Well, that's not always the case because, you know, there are so many people in the community that play the game just for the fact that they want to explore planets or they want to, you know, build things like me, experiment with physics and whatnot. Uh, it's really about what defines the game. The game is, is a sandbox, right? And as far as I know, from what I, from what I know, a sandbox. The definition of a sandbox game is a game that has no linear path or storyline you have to follow. You have the complete freedom to do ex whatever you want as you please. You know, if you want to go and explore and find nice little places set up, build a little cabin on the lake, or just sit on the porch and watch stuff, you can do stuff like that. If you want to uh, recreate places or sculptures or you know even like what I what I tried to do that one time was I was uh, actually tried to recreate uh, what was it I think it was called relativity relative yeah it was relativity by uh, MC, it was MC Escher and it was just basically like a, a spiraling pattern of stairs that were all linked together it was supposed to be like an optical illusion and I was working on it, it was a really 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 big build and it was taking quite some time to build it and I just never really went anywhere and this was before they added color to the game so it was kind of two-dimensional even though it was three-dimensional or you can do things like there's people that built tankers or people that, like just for the sake of it there's uh, there's one one person in the community uh, what they do is they like to they go to their uh, off-site mining areas and what they'll do is while they're waiting for the the mining rigs to fill up is they'll actually just just build little buildings and things like that or maybe you want to experiment with different types of vehicle designs you know go with some see if you can try to make a bike in the game or go overkill and get like 50 to 50 wheels 60 wheels like 16 different types of articulation and multiple suspension layers or Whatever your wherever your imagination takes you, because basically you have all these blocks, you can do whatever you like with them, have them placed anywhere you want, and yeah, it's your game, your world, do as you please. But to get to the point, that's what Planet Nomads is really all about. Just whatever you feel. But anyways, I'm gonna call this one here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did. Leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.